Welcome to this 15 minute standing yoga for beginners. We will practice some basic foundational yoga postures and you can do this practice without any props, but I will show you some modifications with the block. So if you have a yoga block at home, get it ready for this class. We will begin standing in mountain pose. Position your feet around hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. Rock back and forth on your feet a couple of times. And then ground your feet down into the mat. Roll your shoulders back and down. Reach up through the crown of the head, standing up nice and tall. Take a big slow breath in through the nose, expanding your rib cage and belly. And a slow controlled breath out through the nose. One more big breath in. And a slow breath out. With your next inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, interlock your fingers except the pointy fingers. Exhale, lean to the right into side bend. Stay here, turn your gaze up towards the ceiling. Continue to breathe deeply into your rib cage, expanding the side ribs. And on the exhale, drawing the navel in to the spine. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale back to center, exhale to the other side, look up towards the ceiling and breathe. Come back to center and release your arms down. Roll your shoulders back and down again and interlock fingers behind your back. Press your palms together, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift your heart, lift your gaze. And focus on breathing deeper into the front of your body. Release your hands, inhale, stretch your arms up to the sky, look up, exhale, soften the knees and bend down from the hips. Bend your knees as much as you need, relax your upper body over the legs. You can keep your fingertips on the ground or hold the opposite elbows to add a bit more weight to the upper body. Legs stay strong and upper body relaxed. Let it hang heavy over the legs. Take one breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let it go. Release your hands and roll up to standing. Take your feet out wide, keep them parallel to each other. And for triangle pose, turn your right foot out so the toes point to the short edge of the mat. Turn your body down towards the right leg and place your right hand down on the block or just on your shin. Reach your left arm up to the sky, opening the chest up towards the ceiling. And you can gaze down, forward or up towards your left hand. Feel free to keep your right leg slightly bent if that feels better. And then this time try to straighten it more and more. Pull your left shoulder back, opening the chest up to the ceiling. 
and the breath keeps flowing in and out. Turn your gaze down towards the floor and press yourself up to standing. Hands to the hips, bend your right knee above the ankle and adjust the distance between the heels so that the stance is a bit more challenging, but your hips are still staying on the same level. Press your feet down into the floor and extend your arms out in line with the shoulders, with palms facing down. Gaze over your right hand, warrior two paws. Strong legs. Keep reaching in the opposite direction with your fingertips. And then for side angle, release your right forearm to the side and extend your left arm over the head. If you have a block, you can also place your right hand on the block. This will help you to go a little deeper. Press through the outer edge of your left foot and reach through your left fingertips. Big side stretch. Press yourself all the way up to standing and bring your feet closer together for a moment before we do the other side. Place your block on the other side if you want to use it in triangle and side angle poses. And bring your feet out wide again. Turn your left foot out. Bring your left hand down to the shin or to the block and extend your right arm up to the sky. Find your gazing point down on the mat in front of you or up towards the ceiling, towards your right hand. Keep breathing into the rib cage, gently rotating the chest up to the ceiling. Turn your gaze down to the floor and press up to standing. Bring hands to your hips, bend your left knee above the ankle and keeping the hips on the same level, widen the distance between your heels, sit lower in the hips and extend your arms out in line with the shoulders. Press your feet down and towards each other, staying strong in the legs. Gaze over your left hand. Then find your side angle pulse left forearm on the side or hand on the block, right arm reaches over the head. Still keeping the chest open just like in triangle, gently lean back, rotating your heart up to the ceiling. Release, come up to standing and bring your feet together. Eagle pose variation, press your palms together in front of the chest, bend your knees slightly and shift weight into your right foot. Cross your left knee over the right, release your left toes down to the ground first. Find the balance, squeeze the inner sides together, sit your hips back and down. Then try to lift your toes from the ground, balance on your right foot.
keep squeezing the inner sides together, sitting your hips a little lower. Good job! Straighten the legs, shake them out between the sides, and then bend the knees again, weight into your left foot, cross your right knee over the left, find your balance first with your right toes down on the mat. And if you feel stable, lift them up from the floor. Press your palms together, squeeze the inner sides together, bend the standing leg a little more and sit your hips lower. Just one more breath here. And release. Shake the legs out and place them wide again, feet parallel, keep your block nearby so you can easily reach it in case you need it, hands on the hips, inhale lift your heart, lean slightly back, exhale bend down from the hips. Bring your hands, fingertips to the mat or place them on top of the block. Lift the sit bones up to the sky, relax your upper body down towards the floor. Stand for a few breaths. Notice if you want to adjust the distance between the feet. Maybe take them a little wider so that you feel the stretch also on your inner sides and groin, not just on the back of the legs. And then we will add a twist, stay on your fingertips or keep your left hand on the block. Reach your right arm up to the sky, find a twist. And remember your breath, breathing deeply in and out, expanding the rib cage on the inhale, twisting a bit more on the exhale. Switch sides, right hand down, the left arm reaches up to the sky. Deep, slow breath. Bring your left hand down. Stay for another breath, relaxing the upper body, the crown of the head down towards the floor. And then slowly lift your upper body and walk your feet closer towards each other. For yoga squat, toes turned out slightly. Sit your hips low, press your palms together in front of the chest and open the knees a little wider with your elbows. As an option, you can sit up on a block here to focus more on the stretch and less on the mobility of the ankles. Keep lifting your heart up towards your thumbs and gently pressing the knees out with the elbows. Mm -hmm. 
one more big inhale and a slow exhale release your yoga squat and come up to standing back into mountain pose let's finish this class with another breath together stand up nice and tall soften your gaze down towards the floor or close your eyes inhale sweep your arms out and up exhale palms together to your heart thank yourself for showing up for the practice today put a smile on your face and softly open your eyes Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed. I wish you a nice day and see you next time. Bye.